Stereo Day is a program that we designed about eight years ago and we opened it up to multiple counties across the central region when we first started. This year we have expanded to two different locations, one here in Huntington County and the second in York County and we're hoping to have just as many youth um, from New York County and the southeast part of the state attend as well. Some topics that we cover at Youth Dairy Day, uh, this year we're doing reproductive anatomy, good production practices, silage quality, silage management, and also we're learning about heat stress with our calves and how heat affects their growth rates. Anyone that attends will learn hands-on experiences in these different categories and will be able to take this back to their farm and their 4-H projects to use in the years to come. Cervix is what's next? What do you think's next? Uterus, or the uterine body, is next. And after the uterine body is the horns, which you've probably heard before, right? And the horns lead to the fallopian tubes, and then we have ovaries. So we have tracks today, and we'll be able to look at all of that and see, try to help you guys identify all the parts, let you touch, feel, cut things open, see what everything looks like. Uh, do you, can you feel the rings in there? Can you feel how bristly and tough it is? So today we're doing a bunch of activities. Most of them were based around uh, giving injections or giving intramammary treatments, how to properly administer those and the proper dosage amounts, how you read a medication label, and how to sanitarily you know, give an intramammary injection and make sure we're not spreading any type of infectious disease and doing what's best not only for our animals, but whenever we think about giving injections, doing what's best for consumers whenever they're buying meat and milk products. spread out over the surface. Now the intramuscular should be more towards the middle of the banana and it should have very little on the surface. So let's take a look. See where he stuck the needle in for the intramuscular? Very tiny, but hopefully when we open it up, see how it's in the middle? So that's what happens whenever you give an antibiotic or a vaccine. Or Talk about subcutaneous, which is under the skin. We talked about intramuscular, which is right into the muscle. What's another one? Intravenous, yep, absolutely. Goes right in the vein. I'm gonna fill this blanks right. And the last one is intramammary. So this is how we do this one. So you can the whole way out there, so go ahead. You push the plunger very slowly. Okay, now what should you do? Debate. Uh, how to cool cows in hot weather and how to evaluate stall comfort for dairy cows. Today we've had approximately 100 youth participate and approximately 20 adults in these, these programs uh, throughout the day. We look forward to seeing you at our next Youth Dairy Day.